So you might have heard the advice, work hard, work as hard as you can. And while this advice is true and well-intentioned to some extent, it can actually be terribly misleading and the worst advice you could ever receive. And I want to reframe this advice, the work hard in this video, such that you can actually use it to your advantage and know how to apply it the right way. Before I tell you that, let me tell you about the advice I gave myself when I was an undergrad. So when I was starting out in college, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I started out with one major. I didn't know if I liked it. I switched to another. And even though I was working a lot, very hard on my classes, I was working much harder Harder on something else, which is figuring out what I want to do. But my method of figuring it out was through trying things and doing the best I can at trying them. And initially, when I was in high school, when people would tell me to work hard at the classes I had in high school, that just didn't make sense to me because I'm like, I don't know why it's worth working hard on this. I don't see a reason for doing this. And at the time, I would tell myself, like, there has to be reasons to do things. Like, I don't feel the need to work hard on my chemistry class in high school just because I don't see the need for it. But then when I was in college, I was working 10 times harder than I was in high school. And that's because I had a much bigger reason work hard, which is I really wanted to figure out what to do with my life. I really wanted to figure out what I want to do for a career. I really wanted to figure out what I'm going to put my energy towards. I'm paying money for college. How am I going to make the most out of it? And my hard work would often be balanced by periods of sprinting and then resting and reflecting and sprinting and resting and reflecting. But it was never like blind hard work for the sake of hard work. It was working hard to figure out what I wanted to do. There was a goal and there was an intention and there was a clear reason. And you may have heard, for example, Elon Musk say something like work hard every waking hour. This is probably like a very popular motivational video that popped on YouTube, this advice, he had aimed it at people starting a company. So if you're starting a company, this means you have already identified what you want, you identified what you're going to sell, you identified who the people you're going to target are, you have everything so clearly laid out, and you just need to go hard and press your foot hard on the gas pedal and get your company up and running so it doesn't fail. But the problem is when I see people who are still not quite 100% sure what they want to do with their lives, take that advice, and then it becomes like a very stressful, guilt tripping mirror of fake reality where you think I'm not working hard enough but you don't even know what you're working on. And that's okay because you're probably at the stage in life where you're still exploring and you still haven't figured it out. And even on this channel, you'll see me post a lot of motivational content where I'm trying to push you to get off and do get something going. But again, this is assuming that you have identified a target or if you don't know the target, the target is to figure out the target and that alone is worth working hard on. But that should never come from a place of guilt or feeling like you're not doing enough or it should not come from a negative place. It should come from if I work hard on figuring out what I want to work hard on, then I will know what to work hard on and I will work hard. And I know this sounds funny, but the point of this video is if you're somebody at a stage in life where you still don't fully know what you're doing and you, you have like a very vague idea of what's going on, a big part of your brain is still processing and still trying to figure out, okay, is this what I should be doing? Is this not what I should be doing? And by definition, you cannot have your foot hard pressed on the gas for extended periods of time while also trying to stop and look around and see what you're doing. And early on in life, it's okay to have that peripheral vision of looking around and trying to see what you're doing and experimenting with things and things may not work out. In other words, you should be working hard on resting after you work hard and pausing and reflecting and thinking, okay, is this actually what I want? Is this the right thing for me? Am I in the right place? Am I surrounding myself with the right people? So the harder you work, the more you should be able to rest and pause and look around and process information. Because if you just work hard for the sake of working hard and you don't even know what you're working hard on, you will definitely crash and burn and burnout will be inevitable because you don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it. You just have some external source telling you, oh, you got to work hard, but you don't even know why that is. So the takeaway message is if you have identified something worth working hard on work as hard as you can and if you have not then work hard on figuring out what you want to do and if you're still figuring things out and you're still lost and you still don't know what to do there's absolutely no point in beating yourself up on why you're not working hard enough because you don't have reasons to work hard it's okay that can take time just push yourself to figure out what's worth working hard on and i promise you once that clicks in place you'll be able to go hardcore and the only way you can learn is you can learn through action and iteration so don't just sit around and try to figure it out try to do it through action and do well in the thing that you do, but don't exhaust yourself absolutely to the point where hard work becomes something that blinds your judgment and uh, stops you from being able to pause, slow down, look around and process information. And I'm not even going to recommend you to watch anything after this because I really want you to pause, reflect on this and think deeply about it. Take the time to process and figure out what you actually want to do. And then once you have that crystal clarity, you'll be able to work twice as hard. And that's a promise. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love.